Hello and welcome to this tutorial. My name is Edirin Edewar and I'm going to share with you today how you can actually get coaching clients from Amazon for free. This is especially for people who are authors already and are in the space of actually helping people um, with one thing or the other, whether you're in the space of business coaching or you're in sales or you're in fitness or wherever it is that you are, whatever industry you are, where you offer coaching as a service, um, it is important that you learn this skill today. If you've never published before as, you, uh, as a coach, um, first of all, before I even get started, I want to advise you, please, please, and please, there is nothing that says that you are an authority in the space that you belong as writing and publishing a book. And one of the biggest, part, the biggest book uh, bookstore in the entire world is Amazon. So whether you like Amazon or not, it's a great place to actually get published, to have your book reach the majority of people who actually go online searching for books. And it helps you to build your authority. It helps you to also get clients as well. All right. So today I'm going to be focusing on coaching clients uh, specifically. All right. So if you're somebody who sells high ticket coaching uh, for clients, you sell coaching, whether it's monthly coaching or uh, quarterly coaching, or you sell coaching um, per annum, whatever it is, this is a great thing for you to learn, to learn how you can use your book published on Amazon KDP to actually get coaching clients. Okay. Now, you don't have to use a publishing house when you're publishing on Amazon. If you've, if you've never heard of Amazon KDP before, um, I'm just going to do a brief introduction to tell you that Amazon KDP stands for Amazon Kindle Direct Publishing. It is Amazon's self-publishing platform for authors who want to be able to publish their books by themselves. Okay. So um, someone like me, for example, I have published about nine books and workbooks and counting. I have a number of other uh, types of published products, low content products that I have out there on Amazon in different, uh, under different pen names. I do children's books. I do activity books. I do notebooks, planners, journals, um, all kinds of stuff. I also do workbooks as well. And I, I am a multiple Amazon bestselling author. Every single book that I have published on Amazon has become a bestseller. You can actually check it out. I will link a description to my author uh, bio and author profile on Amazon for you to check out my books and some of my content as well. Okay, but um, I will tell you this for free. Amazon has been a great, great opportunity for me to be able to get high ticket coaching clients. Um, I'm somebody who's an author and an author's coach. So I actually help authors get published on Amazon and become bestsellers as well. I help authors also to learn how they can also uh, launch their books and profit from their books, using their books to create multiple streams of income. That's what I do. And I will tell you that this platform, I'm getting my books published on Amazon, has been very instrumental to helping me get clients from all over the world. I've gotten clients from America, I've got, um, in the US, I've gotten clients from Brazil, I've gotten clients from the UK, I've gotten clients from uh, Germany, I've gotten clients from France, I've gotten clients from Australia, I've gotten clients from Dubai, where I currently live. And it's been really, really amazing connecting with people all over the world simply through my book. Um, and my books, right? So um, I learned early enough that it's not enough to just put out your book out there. You want to make sure that your book actually helps you to land clients, especially if you're in the coaching space, right? And I'm going to be sharing with you today how you can do that exactly with your own book, sharing sharing with you the experiences that I've had and my own um, my own things that worked for me as well, okay? So First of all, you must know that your book is a powerful tool for building authority, for sharing knowledge, and for landing qualified leads as a coach. If you are a coach and you're listening to me right now and you don't have a book, please, I plead with you, go, go write a book. It doesn't have to be 200 pages. It doesn't have to be 100 pages. My very first book was 19 pages and I didn't even know what I was doing then. And the book became a bestseller. I sold 200 copies in three days. My second book that I published seven months after was just 65 pages long. I haven't published a book that was more than 132 pages. And that's the most I've ever published. But publishing a book changed my life five years ago exact almost exactly to the month uh today and to the day even i published a tiny book called the productivity checklist basically helping people who work from home become more, more productive with their time the second book was showing people how to write and publish their book that book is called ages of ebook publishing i will link um all of the <laughs> the links of the books i'm talking about in the description for those of you who like to check it out but it changed my life it helped me start landing high ticket coaching clients because People could see from the book that I wrote that I knew what I was talking about. I, I was sharing from my own personal experiences. So they believed in the content that I was sharing, that it was authentic, it was mine, and it was relatable to them. 
And because of that, um, my authority grew, my influence grew, and I started getting people who would contact me from buying my books on Amazon to say, hey, I read your book, I bought your book on Amazon, I read it, I loved it, please can you help me with this particular thing? And that was how I was able to get coaching clients, all right? Over time, I've been able to refine my processes to be able to ensure that I was deliberate and intentional about landing qualified leads as a coach. Um, there are many things that you can do with your book. You can actually lead your book, use your book as a lead magnet to build your email list. You can use your book to um, to sign up people to your courses, to your, your other programs, to your classes, to grow your online community and so on and so forth. But for this particular video, I'm going to be focusing on how to get coaching clients. If you want to learn about how you can use your book to drive traffic and sell more um, of your books on Amazon, stay to the end of this video and I'm going to share with you exactly how you can do that. All right. Publishing on Amazon where your potential audience resides will increase your chances of meeting them there. Why? Because people who are usually looking for help go on Amazon to look for books. Okay, where can I get a book that will help me to do this or that? Where can I get a book that will help me lose weight? Where can I get a book that will help me um, become a better vegan? Where can I get a book that will help me um, to be able to build my business? Where can I get a book that will help me to become a better writer, to become a better salesperson, to become a better marketer? Where can I get a book that will help me quit my job, you know, and be able to build my own business and work from home? People are constantly looking for solutions and they are going on platforms like Amazon. So if you aren't there, first of all, you are leaving a lot of money on the table, okay? So writing a book only is wonderful, but it is a great way to leave money on the table if you are not utilizing it properly. If all you do is just share information and say, hey guys, that's the information, buy," you know, <laughs> you're not helping people. If you don't give people a reason or an incentive for them to want to contact you to work with you one-on-one, -on -one, they will just read your book and then go look for somebody else who can help them implement the same things you have written in your book. So apart from writing a book, show people that you have the ability to be able to help them to implement the transformation that they seek when they read a book. People read books for information, but they would usually go to a coach for the transformation. So as a coach, you are offering transformation, not just information. So don't assume that if somebody reads the information in your book, they will suddenly come to you. While it may happen very few times, you want to make sure that you are actually telling them, giving them a call to action for them to take action to work with you directly, okay? So what do you do before you get published to ensure that your book is optimally prepared to receive those clients that you want. You must, first of all, optimize and organize your back end. So you have a coaching program, make sure that it is absolutely opt optimized so that you have the ability to sign people on automatically. I don't want a situation where I'm sleeping at night and somebody reads my book and decides that they want to work with me one-on-one, -on -one, they start having to send me a message and I have to wake up to first of all onboard them and all of that before they can get on my coaching program. It's a lot of work. I want to give people the ability to be able to read my book, click on a link or type out a link on their laptops or you know their phones and immediately get to a sales page that explains what my coaching program is about and shows them the button to sign up. As soon as they've clicked the button, they've paid, they should automatically get to a place where they can either get on an onboarding video and show them how they can actually book their first coaching session or something or the other. So if you do not opt optimize and automate your back end, having tons and tons of leads is not gonna help you because you'll be absolutely confused. You want to ensure that you have a way to qualify your coaching clients in the back end almost automatically before you actually get to work with them, okay? So set up your coaching program, set up the means of payment, make sure that your sales, uh, your sales page is explaining exactly what your coaching program is about and who it is for so that people can actually get to qualify themselves before they click on the button to pay. Set up your landing page. If you have a sales funnel to get people through to probably go through a particular program or a particular thing first before they get to work with you one-on-one, -on -one, make sure that you have that set up. If you have a freebie to give as a lead magnet, I would advise to, to have one as well, all right? So that even if people are not ready to get on board with you one-on-one -on -one immediately, they can get into your email list and you can continue to build a relationship with them until they decide that they want to work with you one-on-one. -on -one. 
So not everybody who clicks on your links may necessarily want to work with you immediately, but you don't want to leave them hanging. You want to give an opportunity to get to know you, to build a relationship with you first. So I usually would advise give them a freebie, not just the book, because Amazon will not give you the emails of everybody who bought your book, but you can get the emails by offering them something for free. In return, they give you their email addresses so that you can add them to your email list. And if your email list is optimized, your freebies is optimized with a welcome sequence to automatically give them step-by-step -step emails that will eventually get them to decide to want to work with you one-on-one, -on -one, all right? So you want to add your freebie to the beginning of the book. And I will also add at the end of the book as well. Most books that I've read that do really, really good jobs of this is from the very first page, you will say, hey, thank you so much for getting my book. Um, for getting this book, click on this link. Here's a free gift for you simply because you get this, got this book. So that free gift should be something that complements the book that you have just written. It should be something that adds value to them that actually would help them with the information that is contained in the book. So do not give them a freebie that has nothing to do with the book itself. Give them a freebie that will help them, maybe a worksheet, I would advise you something like a simple worksheet or a cheat sheet or a blueprint or a guide, something as simple that they are excited to get. Not necessarily another book, but something as simple and quick to consume. It doesn't have to be much. Four pages, two pages is enough to, for a freebie, right? And in that freebie, make sure that that freebie is already optimized to ensure that when they go through the freebie at the end, there's a call to action for them to probably join your coaching program or join your online community and all of that make sure that your freebie is visible. If you have the link, make sure that the link is visible. All right, add a call to action within the content of your book as well with a clear link to your sales page where people can actually uh, get to sign up for your coaching program for those who are ready to take action immediately. For those who are not ready to take action immediately, they will usually be in your email list and then you can nurture them from there. Okay, so add links to your online community. So if you have a Facebook group, most coaches have Facebook groups, all right? Um, if you have a Facebook group, add a link to your Facebook group, both in the book itself and in your freebie. Also add it in your sales page anywhere possible. I will tell you this for free. I'll probably do another video on how to use Facebook groups to get coaching clients, all right? I'll probably do something about that. But Facebook groups are amazing. Online communities are really, really amazing in helping you to land clients. And a lot of people struggle with Facebook communities. But if you learn how to utilize Facebook communities for organic traffic, it will blow your business to tens of thousands of dollars per month from your coaching programs and your digital business as well. All right. So add links to your online community within the content of the book. Also ensure that your book is of good quality so that it qualifies your leads. Okay. Make sure that your book is speaking to the problems of people who need help. And people who would usually buy your book are people who are interested in what it is that you have to offer. So if you're in fitness, don't start writing a motivational book per se. But you want to write a book that solves a problem in fitness for people. That way, people who buy your book, you would know that your book is essentially qualifying them as your potential client. Right? So um, this is all you need to do before you get published. Then... Once you have published your book, there are a couple of things that you also need to do as well to ensure that you optimize this opportunity. The first thing you want to do is enroll your book for Kindle Unlimited so that people can borrow your book. People are signed up for K K um, Kindle Unlimited, sometimes on Amazon Prime, which allows them to be able to borrow a book without necessarily reading it. So people, people don't understand that. Oh, people are like, okay, but if someone borrows my book without buying it, how do I get paid? Amazon pays you for the number of pages of the book that somebody reads. So if I buy your book and I flip through 10 pages, the specific amount that Amazon will pay you for me reading, um, borrowing 10 pages of your book. So Amazon not, doesn't just serve as a bookstore. It serves as a virtual library as well, where people can borrow books, read them and return them back. All right. And then they get paid. So you want to enroll your book for Kindle Unlimited. Most times this would be automatic when you're publishing your book. But um, if it's not automatically set, you can actually set that as well so that people can, you can get extra payments and more people can find your book because some people would rather borrow a book than buy it outrightly. Okay. Then you also want to sign up for KDP Select. KDP Select is a program within Amazon's um, KDP, that's Kindle Direct Publishing that allows authors to be able to promote their books either for free or at a discounted price for up to five days every 90 days. The, the downside with KDP Select is that once your book is enrolled in KDP Select, 
Amazon Amazon retains exclusive rights to have your book. So you cannot publish your book on like a Barnes and Noble and your book is registered for KDP Select, right? It's um it's a, it's going to be have like copyright issues. So you don't want to have that. However, if you're just published on Amazon and maybe just your website or something, you're good to go. You can actually sign up for KDP Select. So you can get your book as low as completely free or as low as 0.99, $0.99, cents, all right? 99 cents is almost a no-brainer for people who want to buy books so you can actually still earn some um, royalties from your book if it's set at 0.99 but the good thing about having your book free is that more people are inclined to get the book you are very very likely to actually become an amazon bestseller when your book is free or at a ridiculous discount because more and more people are buying the book and as more and more people purchase the book amazon's algorithm will pick it up and start suggesting it to more people because they actually want more people to buy your books because the more books you sell, the more money they can make as well. So it helps your algorithm when you're able to register for um, KDP Select once in a while. So do that and actually get more your books into the hands of more people. Also set your book price to as low as possible in the beginning after your promotion period has finished. You can only promote your book for free or 0 99 for up to five days every 90 days you cannot have your book permanently free on amazon because they need to make money okay so um set your book price to as low as possible in the beginning and after your five days of promotion ends so that you can actually get more people to buy so you can gradually increase the price of your book over time as you get more and more sales as you get more and more reviews as people are seeing that other people are buying your book um, they would continue to buy no matter the price so you can gradually increase your price over time there's something that Amazon also does for, you know, they call it giveaway. So you can actually enter your book for giveaway contest where you can put a particular task. And if people are able to complete that task, they would automatically qualify for your giveaway. That also helps Amazon's algorithm to help your book to get in front of more people so that they can enter for the contests and for the giveaway as well. All right. You can find that in the back end of your Amazon KDP account. You can also include your coaching program and your the link to your sales page and testimonials from people who have worked with you or read your book in the past in your Amazon A plus content. Amazon A plus content is an extra level of content that Amazon now allows authors to add to the descriptions of their book. So people can add like reviews, they can add like um, videos, they can add blogs and all kinds of things to the Amazon A plus content. So you can also add like links and testimonials, links to your community and links to your social media handles in your Amazon A plus content. It really, really helps you to get in front of the people who need the products and the services and the coaching that you offer. You can also offer to speak on podcasts, YouTube shows, virtual events, physical events. And when you get on those events, promote your book. Because many times when you get on a podcast, they will ask, okay, do you want to promote anything? Instead of promoting your high ticket program that may not necessarily sell, you could promote your book on Amazon. It's usually quite affordable. So a lot of people will get it. And the more people who are able to get your book and read it and go through and click on your freebie or click on your links will eventually get to your high ticket program. Whether it's on your YouTube shows or someone else's YouTube shows, you can just put a link to your book on Amazon. People get it, they read it. So this way, you're actually getting more traffic to your book, okay? So promote your book as much as you can. Don't Also, don't forget to ask for reviews in your book. In the beginning page of the interior of your book, you can ask people who have bought the book to leave a review on Amazon um, so that the more reviews and the more good reviews you have, the more people are likely to buy your book because it's, they can see from the reviews that your book is actually being bought and read, okay? Um, then there's something called Amazon Author Central. This basically allows you to create an author profile on Amazon. And in your author profile, you can add pictures, you can add your, your social media platforms and handles. You can also add videos as well. So in mine, I'll link the link to, I'll put the link to mine in the description. In mine, you can see like a short one minute video ad, a one minute video um, there that just talks about like, I think I talked about something about social media week. I spoke at social media week and I just put a, a, a preview of the video there. So you can include a feature video ad in your author profile. So it can be a one minute recording where you say, hey guys, my name is so and so and so. I'm excited to, that you're here. You can follow my author profile. And if you would like to sign up for my coaching program or you would like to join my online community to learn more about what I do, 
please uh you know go to so and so and so link you can include that in the video description so that people can actually follow you and you know and um gets to eventually work with you one-on-one -on -one. so these are some things that you could do some things i've done myself and some things you can actually do to get more coaching clients for free so rather than spending money on ads that may, may or may not convert you can actually use your book as a tool to generate leads on amazon to get to ads all right so this is just a few of a ton of ways that i know how to drive traffic to my book on Amazon. I've used my book on Amazon, my books on Amazon as tools to grow my business over the years. In the past five years that I've been doing this, my business has exploded. Um, for somebody who, you know, started living, you know, grew up in, in, in a third world country, has now been able to relocate to a first world nation, has been able to earn over hundred thousand uh, dollars online from sales of my books and my digital products and my programs. I can tell you that Amazon publishing and getting my books on Amazon was one of the deciding factors and what really changed everything for me, right? And I, when it comes to building traffic and driving traffic to books on Amazon and selling books on Amazon, um, I know exactly how to do that. And I really, really want to share that with you as well. If you're somebody who's listening to me from a country where your, your um, Naira and your, your currencies are devaluing because of the rise in inflation and you would like to be able to earn more money and you, you are a coach or you want to get into coaching you want to learn how to earn more and get high ticket clients as well um, i'll advise you to get your book published on amazon and optimize it so that you can actually get traffic from it as well okay so i want to ask you this would you like to learn how to drive traffic to your books on amazon so you can sell more because the more your books you're able to sell on amazon the more you have the potential to be able to get coaching clients, to be able to get clients for your digital products, your online courses, your master classes, your webinars, and even your other smaller digital products and any other kind of online business that you do. All right. If you would like to learn how to drive traffic to your books using both free and paid ads, there's something that I want to offer you. All right. So I have created a brand new online course. It's called Amazon Traffic Secrets, and it's currently on pre-order for those of you who are listening between now and November the 7th, 2021. It's currently on pre-order at a ridiculous discount, at a 90% 90, 90 discount about, all right? Once it comes out, it's going to be, you know, um, massive. When it comes out, the cost is going to be about $437, but currently now I'm putting it out at $47. So go and grab your pre-order using the link below. It's, that's the link at the bottom, seller.co slash Amazon traffic secret i'm also going to include it in the description so you can easily click on it as well all right go get it now because in this course i'm going to be teaching you how to build and drive free and paid traffic to your books on amazon how to set up and run amazon ads that convert how to run facebook and instagram ads for your book my own personal secret system to increasing the amount of books potential readers will buy on amazon my pricing strategy on how to get more sales uh, i talked a little bit about it here in this video how to use Pinterest to get Amazon to promote your book for free, how to do giveaways, because I talked about giveaways and some people are confused about how to do it. I'm going to explain in one of the videos how you can actually do giveaways inside Amazon. And that's not all. If you actually pre-order the course right now, your order will also come with a few bonuses. You're going to get access to two months group coaching on Telegram from November to December 2021. You're also going to be getting my author ads blueprints. So how you can set up your own blueprint, your own um, author ad strategy. I'm going to show you how I do mine and how you can also use my own blueprint to create your own ad strategy as well. Then I'm going to share some keyword and category research tools to help you to research the best categories to publish on Amazon to increase your traffic and increase your odds for sales. All right. And then I will also share with you some unknown low traffic categories for bestseller ranking. If you're somebody who's interested in becoming an Amazon bestseller and you want to know the right categories to publish on, I'm going to be sharing with you the right categories that you can use to publish your book to get bestseller ranking. That's not all. I'm going to be sharing some for those of you who are, you know, you want to create um, workbooks, you want to create journals, you want to create planners, and you want to ensure that you're actually getting sales from them, I will share with you 15 hot 
low content book niches for 2021 and 2022 that are guaranteed to make you sales and finally i'm going to be sharing with you my amazon publishing cheat sheet so if you're here if you're still confused about how to publish on amazon i'm going to be sharing a cheat sheet with you on how to easily publish your book on amazon at any time how to basically do it in less than 10 minutes okay so i'm going to be sharing this with you so once you pre-order my amazon traffic secret online course you will get these bonuses as well on the seventh when it's delivered to you via email. So click on the link right now to actually get the book, uh, to get my course rather not the book. I'm talking about book a lot. All right. So I hope this has been valuable to you. If you really liked it, leave a comment in the description. Don't forget to like and subscribe to this YouTube channel as well. And join my Facebook group. It's called Online Publishers and Entrepreneurs Network. I share stuff about how to write, publish, and profit from your book and how to build a business from the content of your book as well. Okay. So join my Facebook group. I'll be very, very happy to have you there. Um, I also share tips as well and a lot of information on Telegram. I have a Telegram channel. It's uh, called Open Updates. I'll also link it in the description below. I'll also link the Facebook group in the description below. And any other important information I feel you would have, you would be good for you to have, I will link them in the description of this video. I really hope this has been valuable to you. Um, leave a comment again. Let me know. Remember to like and subscribe. And check out all the other videos in my YouTube channel that would be of amazing value to you. I'm constantly sharing about publishing, constantly sharing about online business, low content products, and entrepreneurship in general. All right, so check out my, my YouTube channel for other videos that will really help you. Tell a friend as well. Share this video with a friend and let them come and learn how they can also uh, use Amazon and their books on Amazon to get coaching clients as well. Thank you so much for listening. My name has been Edirin Edewo, and I will see you in another video.